I got here as soon as I could, but Friendship Ambassador is a full-time job these days. Making peace between Abyssinians and the Diamond Dogs has not been easy. That's why I picked you for the job. But I'm glad you could come. So, what's the emergency? Ever since I took over Celestia's school, my focus has been on teaching magic. But now it seems my top student has missed the most important lesson of all. What do you mean? Let's just say it'll be good to have my royal advisor and friendship ambassador by my side. Your Majesty, she's here. Send her in, Gallus. Your Majesty. Lester, I may be the ruler of Equestria, but I'm still just your teacher. And you've been wonderful. I've enjoyed every moment at the School of Magic, but I'm just not sure it's the right place for me. I see. And it's not the work. I could spend weeks in the library doing research. It's just that there's a lot of focus on making friends. If that's your problem, you've come to the right place. But that's just it. I don't want to make friends. What? <clears throat> so you'd rather leave the School of Magic than make friends? I was hoping to set up an independent course of study. I want to accomplish as much as you have someday. It'll be hard to do that without friends. I'm not so sure. Friendship looks like more of a distraction than anything else, and ultimately, a waste of time. What? I know you and your friends accomplished a lot together, but that was so long ago, and as far as I can see, you rule by yourself now. Uh, hello, royal advisor right here. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. In fact, I think it's better. Plus, if friendships ultimately fade, why even make them in the first place? You know what, Luster Dawn? You're right. What?! My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Friendship is more trouble than it's worth? This is your top student? Friendships take work, and there's no guarantee they'll last. They can be complicated, they can be messy, and they never go the way you plan. Friendship is a hard thing to navigate. I remember the first time I realized it might not last forever. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything. I'm just doing a final check, Spike. But we did a final check of every room. Twice. Aha! See? An issue of Power Ponies. Now aren't you glad we triple-checked? Thanks, but I already read this one. I don't need to take it to Canelot. No, no, no. You love Power Ponies. We're taking it. Really, Twilight? We don't have to bring the comic. I'm not even sure how much longer I'll collect it. A lot is changing, and I am getting older. Just because things change doesn't mean you leave everything you love behind. You're not still worried about ruling Equestria, are you? No, I know it took some time, but I've never been more ready for anything in my life. Just because I'm ready to sit on the throne in Canterlot doesn't mean I'm ready to leave Ponyville. When we were all fighting to save Equestria from T-Rex, Chrysalis, and Cozy Glow, I was too busy to think about it. But now it's all happening at once. What is? The coronation, moving, leaving our friends. I thought we'd all be ruling Equestria together. Of course we will. But it won't be the same. They all have lives here. We're moving away and they're not, and I can't help but feel like we're leaving them behind. What if we all just drift apart? I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. Maybe you should talk to them. I bet they're feeling the same way. You're right, Spike. Thanks. Sometimes talking to a good friend is all it takes. about how things might change with me living in Canterlot? Of course not. Change is natural, like the seasons. That's just life on the farm. I guess so. 
Anywho, I really need to get all these boxes packed and sorted. There's a lot more work now that the folks beyond Equestria are coming to the coronation, too. Worry? <laughs> no way! Unless you're talking about the coronation, because then, yes. Obviously, the cakes are handled, but there's the whole rest of the party to stay on top of. Honestly, I'm not convinced Gummy really took care of the fireworks. But what about after the coronation? Don't you think things are going to be different? Well, since I'll be in charge of all the Canterlot Gallows from now on, I'll have to go there a lot more. So, I guess that's different, but I don't think I mind. No, of course not. Wonderful work, everyone. We couldn't be more ready. Josephine, if you and the rest of the doves leave now, we should all arrive in Canterlot at the same time. Eloise and Hubert, you should go too. I know it's a long way, but don't worry. I'll bring plenty of snacks to restore your energy before we perform. Everyone else gets to ride, since the trip's too much for your little wings. We need everyone in tip-top shape for the coronation. I'm glad we got the chance for one last rehearsal. Everyone's so excited. But I can't imagine any ponies more excited than you. Moving to Canterlot, being crowned. I can't think of a single bad thing about any of it. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. In three, two, one, and... Look, Rainbow Dash, I know this is important to you, and we all want the routine to be special, but are you sure it needs to be this complicated? Of course! And I know we can pull it off. Sorry, Twilight, I don't have time to talk. We've got a lot more work to do before the coronation. <sighs> Darling, change is an integral part of fashion. I myself am considering opening boutiques for non-ponies. Things must evolve, or they become stale. For example, I was just struck with a sudden inspiration to change my design for your gown by including the webs of these star spiders. They glow for a short while after they're spun. They won't have much time to weave the sash, but the effect will be dazzling. You see, darling, change can be fabulous if you embrace it. Starlight is supposed to come over soon. There's a little something we wanted to give you before we leave. You know what? I think you're right, Twilight. I should take my comics to Canterlot. We can't leave the Power Ponies behind. I don't think the Power Ponies care, Spike. Just like all of our friends. All right, Twilight. Are you ready? We all wanted to see you off, but there's still a lot to do. Aren't you coming on the train? I gotta go with Big Mac so we can go over our packing list, or we won't know who gets what deliveries. And I'm gonna meet the Wonderbolt so we can go over the routine one last time. I'm going with Gummy. He said he knows when the fireworks display should start, but does any pony really believe that? And I still need to pick up food for the swans and doves who flew ahead to Canterlot. If I don't get them fed, they'll be too pooped to perform. Well... I'll be living in Canterlot alone. Might as well take the train alone, too. Bye, I guess. Oh, you won't be traveling alone, darling. I'll have just enough time on the train to weave the stuff spider sash for your gown. But you should leave now. There's no time to dawdle if you want the coronation to be perfect. That's the problem. You're also worried about making my coronation perfect, but I'm leaving Ponyville and none of you even care. <gasps> Exactly. You moved away, your friends didn't care, and that was that. Actually, not exactly. Of course we care that you're moving, Twilight. I can't believe you think we don't. What could possibly make you think that? I tried to talk to you all about how I was feeling, but you seemed more worried about what you had to do for the coronation. It's true. I was there. I suppose it gave us something else to focus on. I knew you were worried about everything changing. I guess I thought if I made it seem like everything was okay, it would be. I was just trying to make you feel better. That way I wouldn't feel so terrible. Before I moved to Ponyville, I didn't really know what friendship was. You've all taught me so much. I can't believe it all might be ending. But when I imagine the future, all I can think about is that we won't be together. I'm literally moving away from you and it's terrifying. I'm scared too. Me too. Rattled to the core. Yep. I wouldn't say scared. But 
Just because I won't say it doesn't mean I don't feel it. I'm gonna miss you so much! I just can't stop thinking about how much things are going to change. What, what if we don't see each other? What if we don't talk as much? What if we don't stay friends? <laughs> no, it's weird, but knowing you're all as upset as I am actually makes me less worried. That's nice, but you should be more worried about missing the train to Canterlot! Sorry I'm so late. I actually thought I'd missed you. There's no time! Oh no, we missed it! But maybe... Okay, we're on the train. Everything should be fine, right? I've worked out exactly how much time I needed to weave my star spider satch, and now I'm behind! I hope Big Mac can figure out who gets what deliveries on his own. I assume these contain the finest sparkling apple juice? Mm, yep. Oh, the sweet apple egg is applesauce for my coronation parfait! This is the applesauce. Uh, yep. I don't have the snacks the doves and swans will need to perform after their long flight. I'd better find the food car. And I need to meet the Wonder Bolts. Where's the coronation team? Well, they, they waited, but when you didn't show, they thought you must have meant to meet outside of Candlelight. The only thing I'm worried about is Gummy handling the fireworks display. Sure, it's fine. <laughs> well, it could always be worse. Goodness, Twilight, are you all right? My friends and I had a few hiccups on the way, but everything's fine now. We really are both just so proud of you. If you need a moment, that's all right. It is your coronation. Although, it would be nice to get started. Are you ready? No! She can't possibly be crowned without her coronation gown. Very well. Citizens of Equestria and beyond. <laughs> My sister and I have ruled this land for quite some time. But even we know that change eventually comes to us all. And though we know it can be unsettling, it's as natural as the rising and setting of the sun and the moon, both of which my sister and I feel confident, leaving in the hooves of the pony. Uh, you look amazing. Oh, I almost forgot. And so, without further ado, I give you the new ruler of Equestria, Princess Twilight Sparkle. <gasps> <gasps> Sorry. Twilight? <gasps> oh dear. I know these aren't the snacks I promised, but it's all I could find. <laughs> well, dash or no dash, Twilight's about to get that crown. Wonderful! Roll out! No, wait! Close enough. Um, okay, I get it now. Your coronation was such a disaster that you and your friends never really recovered, and that's why you all drifted apart. Well, you're half right. So, the coronation wasn't a disaster, and your friendships just faded away over time? Not exactly. <sighs> Sorry I'm late, but it is so hard to find a sitter with a sense of humor for little cheese. Oh, 
Honestly, I would have been here sooner, but you would not believe how busy Yak Yakistan is these days. Maybe we could get to places on time if you let me do some of the chores instead of always doing everything yourself. Maybe I would if you did them the right way. Oh, <laughs> sorry. We're not the last ones, are we? Discord's headed to an O&O convention where he'd be joining us. I just assume that since you aren't together all the time now, that we aren't friends? <laughs> That's not the point of my story. It's true my coronation was a disaster. Well, at least the coronation is over. <sighs> <laughs> that was something. I was just about to say the same thing. I know maybe it wasn't the coronation you planned, but it's good to see all of you laughing. We wanted to give this to you before you left Ponyville, but things got a little hectic. Since you're moving away, we thought if you missed any of us, or Ponyville, this might help. It's a book of memories. And we all chipped in some. No matter how much things change, you always have this to look back on. I love it. Thank you so much. But I don't want to only look back. Obviously, the coronation wasn't perfect. But that doesn't matter. It's our relationships that really count. And we have to maintain them. But now that we'll be living in different places, I'm not exactly sure how. I am. I suggest we meet once a moon. In fact, my first royal decree as ruler of Equestria is to establish this council of friendship. <laughs> and what a wonderful decree it is. We always knew that whatever adversity you faced, you and your friends would find your way through it together. We know Equestria is in the perfect hooves with you and your friends looking out for it. And while we'll always be here if you need us, it's time for us to be on our way. You're leaving? We hope you'll come and visit us in Silver Shoals. But now it's time for you to rule on your own. You're all more than capable. Thank you for everything. <laughs> so, even though everything changed, and you moved away from your friends, you didn't grow apart? And this is the Council of Friendship. That's what you're all doing here? Duh! This time, every moon! <laughs> what she means is, this is how we've been ruling together. And how we've continued to face every problem and threat to Equestria over the years. But mostly, it's how we keep in touch, no matter how busy life gets. Sometimes friendships can be hard, and it takes work to maintain them. But without friends, things can be a lot harder. I never thought about friendship being something to work at, and I don't mind work. I guess if they don't have to fade away, maybe making friends isn't the waste of time I thought. But uh, I've been so focused on my studies, I wouldn't know where to start. That's all right, because I know exactly where to send you. When I started out, I was unsure. I thought I knew all that I needed, didn't know what to expect. But when my walls came down, I saw the truth. All along something was missing And I think you'll see it too This is where the magic happens This is where the magic lives Our friendships weave together stronger The bonds grow deeper, lasting longer And the greatest spell you'll know 
Friendship happens so natural.